a partridge in a pear tree. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Welcome to Winning Ways. I'm Stephanie Solomon, and this is day 11 of the 12 days of forgiveness. Did you know that when you become a forgiver, you become a transformer? Yep. You are transformed becoming transformed. You are transformed. You become a transformer, helping others transform. Why is that? Because forgiveness changes us. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'm telling you, if you just jumped on, you can replay this and all of the other insightful short episodes that I've been running for the last... 10 days. All right. I have been excited about what the Holy Spirit has been giving me about forgiveness. And for those of you who've been following me, you know that I'm a forgiveness coach that was born and birthed out of my writings on forgiveness over the years. I first started writing about and teaching about forgiveness back in 1997 in my first book, Conversations with the King. The chapter, Forgiveness is Not, forgiveness is not an Option, was the most popular chapter. I got the most feedback from that chapter. And the Lord just moved ever since. And no matter where I was, whether teaching, my private life, personal life, professional life, I was dealing with forgiveness in my own life. And it amplified, by the way, <laughs> it amplified. And I had to learn more. And I tell you what I wrote about in 1997 still works, still is relevant, still real, still true. However, I've learned more. The entrance of God's word has given so much light and understanding because where there's light, there's understanding. And I've learned so much more as I've applied forgiveness, as I've seen how forgiveness transformed me and how I see how forgiveness transforms those around me who operate in it. Well, it's going to be another short night. Just want you to know that when you forgive, you are transformed. And I know there, there is a crew out there who doesn't believe this. And that's your choice. You have that option. You have that option. You, you uh, have said that you can still function and become the best level of yourself. Uh, choosing not to forgive people because you believe that there are certain things that are unforgivable. And... Um, a part of what you're saying, I, I understand and, um, I don't embrace it, but I, I understand it because I don't know what I would do, how I would respond if certain imaginable things, um, came into my world that I encountered. And I don't know how I know that I, I would need to, I know that I would need to forgive in certain instances, um, but I don't know how I would respond. So because of the depth and the oh, the horror of what I am imagining even now in my head, you know, happening to me or the someone I love, you know, or, or really just care about deeply. So I can understand that it would just be uh, my emotional self can't imagine forgiving. But when I think about what forgiveness is not and make the not the truth, like letting the person off the hook, not being accountable, that kind of thing, then I understand a little better that mm, I can forgive because I'm the one being inflicted with all this misery. Um, and I understand that forgiveness is not dismissing accountability. And so I have to constantly remind that it's not dismissing accountability. It's not minimizing it. It's not erasing it. What it is, is doing is saying, I am not allowing the weight and the consumption of all of the anger and the fear and the, just all of the emotions that come with unforgiveness, um, 
consume me and overtake me so that I am really not living my best version. That's where I disagree with those who say that they are, they can still become their best self without forgiving. And I beg to differ with that because there's so many components of us as a human being that are impacted by unforgiveness. I mentioned to you, uh, <coughs> excuse me, in this series, I believe it was day four or five, where medical science now says that unforgiveness negatively impacts the body in so many ways. Go back and listen to it. Research it yourself. John Hopkins uh, research did research on it. And so did, uh, I think it's Harvard, Harvard Health also did uh, completed studies on that. So go back and Google and you know, research yourself and read up on that. But I beg to differ with that. And I understand the struggles. I understand that uh, like grief, there are different time uh, constraints or time, uh, what I don't want to say constraints, that's not the best word to use, but there is no time on that, on, on grief as it is with forgiving, but we need to get past them both so that, well, I don't even know if I should say past because I don't think we ever get past grief, but we know we need to be able to, I don't want to compare too much because they are different, but they are alike in that they have a process. So we do want to move through them in our reality and yet not be consumed by them where our life and our purpose is stymied and smothered and stifled. All right. And uh, we're not really living our best lives and God is not getting the glory out of us continuously being in a place of <clears throat> of um, doing nothing. You know, um, I remember I, I don't know where the scripture is, but there's a scripture where the prophet Samuel mourned for the death of um, King Saul and the Lord said to him, how long, you know, how long are you going to mourn for him? I mean, there is a point and it, it sounds insensitive in a way, the way it's read. Um, but it's not like the Holy Spirit, who's our comforter, is not being sensitive. He's reminding um, the prophet Samuel that he's about purpose. And we all have purpose. And when we are fully consumed with unforgiveness, I want to stay on that one for, you know, um, we can dismiss, we can relinquish uh, what we're called to do. And that's really not a good thing. You know, for those who are believers like me, we know that we are called and chosen and we are here for a purpose. And in that purpose, whatever it is God has called and chosen us to do, it is to give God glory in it. And even in our humanness where we sin, um, we carry unnecessary weights, we do worry, we, we do get anxious. God has made a way for us to conquer and overcome all of those things, even unforgiveness. So tonight, I just want to leave with you that when we forgive, we become transformed. You know, the Bible tells us that if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature in Christ Jesus. All things are passed away. Behold, all things, not some things, but all things become new. All right. And we are transformed by the renewing of our mind. We're not conformed to this world, but we're transformed by the renewing of our mind. And, you know, we have a part in that renewal process. We have a part to play. The Holy Spirit orchestrates things, but we have a role and that role is being obedient to the will of God. And in being obedient, the Lord says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. And so the Lord tells us things to do and forgiving is one of them. 
And as we forgive, we become transformed so much so that we can, you know, reinvent our space and the, the world around us. We have an impact on the world around us. You know, often we see where people have gone through uh, different struggles and what have you in life, and they come back, you know, and they have this reinvented self. <laughs> Excuse me. Sometimes the physical self looks just totally different. There's a total makeover and the exterior, new hair, you know, weight gain, weight loss, what have you. Um, but what about the inner self? I've learned that forgiveness helps with the inner transformation that the Lord is about. He's about us changing inwardly because that's where the soul resides and that's what he wants to save our soul. So we are transformers. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Our heart is healed when we're transformed. Our heart becomes softer. It's open for the word and the will of God. We're just made so much better. And I believe that when we are made so much the better, we make life better for those around us. All right. And that's my little insight for tonight on our on uh forgiveness all right so subscribe 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 i can't say that enough if you're on the youtube side i'm still trying to grow it's a struggle yes it is um but nonetheless hey if noah can take what the lord told him to do and move in that for 100 120 years before he sees you know it come to fruition, surely I can, can keep moving and keep it moving over here, right? <laughs> Struggle is real, I'll tell you. But subscribe, please. All right. Uh, you guys are letting me know that you're being blessed by these insights, and I'm so glad for that. Comment, 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 even with the replays, it's okay to comment. You know, I've had several people say this, so I think that's important to mention about the comments afterwards. They said, Oh, you know, I wanted. I missed it live and I wanted to comment on it. So they felt that that would make the comment be a part of the program. Well, actually, when I replay this, the comments still show up. Okay. Not on the actual video, but underneath. So yeah, continue to comment. Okay. And um, absolutely share. That's another way that we get this algorithm paying attention to what's going on over here. And of of course, if you are interested in a one-on-one -on -one session with me, uh, give me a call. Okay. The number is on my website. My website is on the ticker here, www.stephanieersolomon. Uh, All right. And uh, we'll have a consultation to see if we're a good fit. If, you know, you and I, you know, <laughs> it's late. When it gets late, I get a little... All right. <laughs> All right. So this is day 11. I did this. I'm telling you, this was a challenge for me. I was excited. I still am when God gave this to me to do. But boy, hoo -hoo, editing and preparing and all of that is something. <laughs> but nonetheless, it's all good. All good. All right. So thank you, everybody, for stopping through. Thank you for your feedback. Loving it, loving it, loving it. All right. So one more day to go and I'll be here, Lord willing, for the last day, day 12, sharing why forgiveness really is not an option. Take care and have a wonderful, wonderful day ahead.